going to read something from uh, 1 Peter, chapter 1. Since you call on a father who judges each man's work impartially, live your lives as strangers here in reverent fear. For you know that it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, that you were redeemed from the empty way of life handed down to you from your forefathers, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. He was chosen before the creation of the world, but was revealed in these last times for your sake. Through him you believe in God, who raised him from the dead and glorified him, and so your faith and hope are in God. Your faith and hope are in God. Um, it is, uh, it's really uh, a, a wonderful thing, and actually an amazing thing, uh, that uh, we in this country have tremendous personal freedom. There's no other country where the citizens have the kinds of freedom that we have, and it's something that we really uh, are, should be thankful for. And this past week, of course, we exercised one of those freedoms in terms of an election, and uh, people who voted uh, got their opportunity to, to vote for whomever they wanted to vote for. And uh, this is a, a, a great um, uh, benefit to us, a, a gift that we choose our own leadership. For good or for bad, we choose them. And, um, you know, we don't want to lose sight of what a blessing we have there. But the thing that we really want to focus on is, is most important is uh, what Jesus did for us. Uh, I can pretty much tell you there won't be voting and elections in heaven, okay? That election, that, the, the, the ruler of the universe is already in place and that's not up for grabs. And so, you know, and, and that's in any case, uh, whether there was an election last week or last year or whatever, this is the thing that, uh, to focus on that, uh, that uh, like in, the, in our invocation, that, uh, don't put your trust in princes. Don't put your trust in uh, kings and uh, presidents and uh, prime ministers and whatever. We certainly have earthly leaders, uh, but uh, our, our, our president is Jesus. You know, Our ruler is Jesus. And we need to keep that in mind. And, uh, and uh, that, will, uh, that will keep us, uh, 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 mentally functioning, <laughs> if you will, uh, and uh, help us to understand. And uh, uh, certainly we all realize these things, that it, the things of God are far more important, but we need to be grateful for the things that God has given us in this country. Uh, and so keep that in mind that um, you know it was not with perishable things, such as silver or gold, but with the precious blood of Christ, a lamb without blemish or defect. That's where our, uh, our emphasis should always be, and we know that. And that's what we're doing right now, is we're remembering uh, uh, Jesus and what he did for us, which uh, when, you, when you really uh, think uh, hard about it, that this is such an amazing act of love and such a great thing that he did. And, uh, 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 and we have... Uh, uh, so much benefit from it, and ultimately uh, eternity with him. And that's, that's the happiest of endings of anything. Uh, let's pray. Father, we thank you for this time of uh, remembrance, Lord, which uh, uh, in your word you, uh, you tell us uh, that when, when we gather together that this is something we need to do. Uh, as uh, we do this every week, Lord, it never gets old. And uh, we're, we're thankful, Father, that we have a, a Savior who is Jesus, who, uh, who laid down his life for his friends. And uh, Lord, we, uh, at, 
at this time each week in our own way, uh, I'm pretty sure we all have a, a mental picture of what, uh, what happened, of, uh, of the cross, of the Savior, of all the events that transpired that day, Lord, and it just uh, enhances our appreciation and our gratitude for uh, what was done. And so, uh, Father, we, we just uh, thank you so much, and we, and we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>